ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel. Uh, exciting news, Farmer's Dynasty has been officially, officially released. Um, so we are now at the post-release version 1.0 stage. Many things have been upgraded, fixed. Um, yeah, the people look way better. Now, that was something that was fixed a couple months ago um, with the beta, but uh, it is in a great improvement. In fact, I'll show you here. Coming up here, we have a scene with Oliver, and I'll show you a picture of the original versus what the characters look like now once we get in here and start talking to Oliver. Um, we have beehives now that can generate honey that you can sell and also use in recipes. Um there's a whole bunch of there's drone racing. Um, it, oh yeah, there, there's a racing drone and a regular drone that you can buy. Um, so here is here we go. So we're gonna take a look at Oliver, and we're gonna once he's done talking, we'll take a look at a picture of what Oliver looks like. Hello, before. I'm your neighbor. My name's Oliver. Hey Oliver. I've been looking after this farm since your grandfather passed away. Yeah, I'm sorry. Nice to meet you, Oliver. I appreciate your help. So this is my heritage. Yes. This nice farm and piece of land are all yours now. They're all mine. Welcome to our little county. Thanks. I don't know much about farming, but I'm a quick learner. I'm sure you'll fit in just fine. I love the way the characters We're all are good stretching. Folk live in here, like and we help sore. each other out. He's been Please hitting, follow me. The weights. I'll show you around. All right, so right there, that scene. Take a look Come at. Come on. Yeah, here, here's original Oliver. Yeah. Looks terrible, doesn't it? All right, so now let's go ahead and follow Oliver around. And he'll show us around the farm. We're just going to follow him in his little... No, he looks much better now. That's what I'm saying. Like, he's... He looks like a human being rather than a lizard. Lizard man. Yeah, he looked pretty bad before. He's As a little too see, cigarous looking for me right now, but... poor shape. Few repairs have been done here. The voice doesn't match the... Anyway. Here's your house. The roof needs work, but you can have some sleep here, perhaps, or even store some food. I can store food in my house. You will have to Think bring this farm to a good shape yourself. I'm going to have to bring it to a Soon good shape. see how to do it. I'm going to have to bring the farm to a good shape myself. Follow Definitely me. still in English. They haven't fixed the dialogue. I think it's a... I think they're either German or Polish. I can't remember who were... It's top. Is it German? Yeah. Here's the garage for your vehicles. It's empty now, but I'm sure you'll need it pretty soon. Your grandpa didn't finish the upper floor, but if you can afford building materials, then you can fix the construction yourself. Yeah, and you can fix the whole thing. He's talking about refurbishing it and making it all look new, which we, you do later in the game. Um... However, you can repair everything on the farm without having to buy anything. So don't worry about that. We're going to get the whole farm fixed up here before we do anything else. Uh, we need the social points this to buy This is fields. your barn. Empty for now, but you can use it to store hay for your animals. Just fix these holes first, or everything will get wet and rot. Now, one thing you guys need to know. Um, your grandfather's oh. old animals have we'll all talk been sold. You will have to buy your own. They've sold my animals? What? I guess if he wasn't taking care of them. The cow shed is old and needs some work, but it's still solid. You can do the fixes and upgrades yourself. Try fixing those holes first so your animals stay healthy. Yeah, we're just going to fix all the holes. I see you've come prepared and have your own tools. Yes, I am Bob the Builder. Good. Yep. Try to fix these doors since it's stuck and won't open. De -de 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 Oh, he wants me to fix it. Okay. So what I was going to say is to keep in mind that um, this game, uh, hay is the same thing as straw. So if you harvest your crop and you get straw, that's also considered hay. You feed it to your cows. Now, in real life, hay comes from dried grass or alfalfa or lucerne, uh, which is the same thing as alfalfa, um, maybe clover. Uh, but in general, hay, you know, there's Timothy hay. There's a whole bunch of different kinds of hay out there. They're grass-based. Now, Weed and grass are relatives, but straw is not edible by most animals unless you mix it into their food as filler. They don't eat straw. They use it for bedding to get manure. Um, so, 
or not even to get manure, but the, to clean manure up. It's like using wood chips in your rabbit cage or cedar All chips. All right. It should open there now. We go. Okay, we'll try to open it. Now, what did you want to tell me, honey, Come to remember? On. Oh, okay. So in this game, that's a thank you. My my dear wife reminded me to explain what the social points are. Um, if we tab the game, you're gonna <laughs> you're gonna see here. I have zero social points right now. Um, this game, the higher your social points are, you get you, you can spend those social points um, on equipment, and you can also spend them on um, fields. Like you can buy a neighbor's field. If the field's fifty thousand bucks. You can put in uh, 20,000 social points and pay half. Now, you can't adjust the amount. Like, I can't say I want to give you more social points and pay less. It's a it's a set basis. So, like, for 20,000 social points and $25,000, you can buy this field, or it's $50,000. You can't adjust that. But each field has a different price. Each piece of equipment has a different price. And we'll look at that as we play the game. Um, you'll see that more. But right now, we have zero social points. Fixing our buildings will make the social points go up. Going to the coffee shop and talking to people will help your social points go up. Uh, getting married and having kids will help your social points go up. Doing chores for other people help your social points go up. So there's lots of ways in the game to earn social points. Um, and once again, they're as good as money because they make things half off. So like equipment, if you have 50,000 social points and you can put it towards the tractor, the tractor will be half off. So it's a really good deal. So keep that in mind. It's an actual very important part of the, the system here. So... And uh, so we're going to use engineer say, oh, he's he's leaving. <laughs> All right. So and tab also tells us what our current mission is. Um, so. Engineer site, this shows us what's broken on the barn. Hold on one sec. All right. So we're going to follow Oliver here. Build a scaffold to climb up there and check the roof. OK, he wants us to build a scaffold. So we're going to take our F3. There we go. And we walk over. And this shows you uh, kind of a, there you go. So you can see the scaffold. You need one that has a ladder, all right? If you don't see this one has no ladder, you can't use that. You're going to use the one that has the ladder. And we can press B to build it. And then uh, I'm using my Xbox controller, but I also use my keyboard. Um, this is available on the Xbox, I believe, also, though. Uh, it is, yeah. It, that's part of the releases that's coming out on console. So, yeah, I think so. I think yesterday was the official release. Uh, I'm going to climb up this ladder, and we're going to, whoops, I fell back off. <laughs> Be careful, I broke legs. Uh, you do not get injured from falling in this game, thankfully, because it is very easy to fall off the roof. So we've come up on the roof, and if you use the engineer site by clicking your left button, you can see the red parts of the parts How's that need to be fixed. There? Looks terrible. Come back down when you're done. We need to go. We need to go, because we got things Follow to me. do. All right. Here's the exciting part of the game. Now, you can just hold the button down. You don't have to keep pressing it, but you have to just hold it while he's repairing. So I'm holding the, holding my B button down, and he's fixing the, the stuff. So now we've gotten this side of the roof done. You can see here, if I look with my engineer site, everything's fixed on this side. I need to now go over here. And I'm going to fix this part of the roof here. So you can see, this is primarily what you're going to be doing all over the farm. You're going to walk around, and uh, you're basically going to replace planks and fix doors, and you go through the buildings and keep engineer sighting. Now, when you have, you'll know you're done with the building because it's going to, you're going to get a, a tick on the screen saying, hey, congratulations, you fixed the building. And you're going to earn some social points. I'm going to leave this up because we're going to need it more later. Uh, we'll hop down here. Uh, but I'll also show there's a second way to check. If you press the tab menu, uh, I think it's, yeah, it's, no, it's not that one. I don't know how, oh, left and right button together. Uh, this shows you your, your status again. And if you go to farm statistics, you're going to see here, farm building fixed up on the left. And you're going to see it says greenhouse, no, cow shed, no, hen, no, 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 no. So you'll also be able to check here if you're working on a building and going, is this fixed yet? I think if you miss the, the cue, because like I said, sometimes that little social point thing pops up and you don't see it. And then you're like, wait a minute, did I fix that or not? You can also come in here and check and see all of your farm statistics. But you can currently see this uh, 
farm buildings. Oh, by the way, we do now have a cat and a dog that are in the game. Um, yep, and we also have, uh, hunt, like I said, we have beehives with honey. I mean, there's just so many things that you can do in this game to make money. But it's slow. You know, cooking is a good thing, though. Now he's going to talk to us about these silos. You here. can store harvested grains in the silo, so you can use these later or sell them if you want. Before you use the silo, remember to fix it first. Yes, sir. I will. So the dialogue's still real stiff in this game, but um, the characters look way, way better. Um, like, if you Take marry a, a woman, you're not marrying house. a lizard. <laughs> You can grow some veggies here fast to earn some quick money. Yep. Still, you'll have to Still. fix these holes so your plants can grow to a best effect. Plants can grow to a best effect. <laughs> That's There's a direct I German see translation. I your grandfather bought some materials to fix it already. You can use it to rebuild the greenhouse as good as you can. All right, so let's pick up the metal. And we've got our uh, annealing tool here. And what we're going to do is we're going to anneal this metal. Um... So using the sheet, it, you can see here, it, it uh, refurbishes all the metal, and we have to do the entire thing before he's satisfied. So I'm going to go ahead and do the whole building here. And I'll you guys can take a break here while I work on this. This is going to take me about 20 minutes. I have to do inside and out. Uh, we have to fix all the tables. we got to fix the roof. i got to go up on the roof and fix that. I've got to fix those things in the middle. All of that needs to be fixed. So I will see you guys once I'm done uh, fixing this building up. So I'll see you in just a minute here. Now, one thing I am noticing about the game is that I am getting these really big pauses. Some, like when you load stuff, it's like it's like chugging. Uh, we're gonna put that there. We're gonna put this here. I don't know if I can. I can't get between those. I'm gonna throw the scaffolding up here um, on the front and back of the building because there's like things that I have to get um, that I can't. You're pretty good at oh, this. Hey, I'm not. I'm done. sure you'll do well on this farm. Oh, okay. Well, okay. Actually, I might have a job for you myself. All right, he's going to... Hmm, what is it? Why don't you come to my place and Ooh. do some fixes to my barn? Sure. It's mostly roof that needs work, but some walls need attention, too. I don't have much money, but I'll give you my old tractor as a reward. Sweet. I'm sure you can use it. Mm hmm I could definitely use it. Sounds good. Uh, I'll take care of this. Sounds good. I'll take care of this. That's what he said. I'm just All reading right. what he says. I'm going back home now. Bye. Good luck. Thanks. And see you around. So long, Oliver. I'm going to work on my farm. I'll be there in a day or two. Yep, maybe Wednesday. All right, so we're going <laughs> to... You make me promises, promises. Um, put that down there. Man, this is not going the way I wanted it, but these scaffoldings, you can't select which scaffolding you're going to put up. It just, it just randomly puts them up. So, wow, uh, these are connected. That's good. Uh, that's good. I need to get a stairwell to get up on that one. I guess I could jump over to it. Uh, what I'm getting at is these, and I want to show you this too. So when you are doing the annealing tool, even if the thing is steel still, and doesn't need to be fixed. It's old metal. So here we have rusty metal, and we're going to fix that first. You see, we anneal it like we, we've been doing downstairs. But I'm going to come to this part here, and you can see here this is not rusty. Uh, even though it calls it rusty metal, it's this is considered in repaired condition. So you'd, whereas that's not, this is. Uh, but we, I'm still going to rebuild it. So make sure that you check closely, because from downstairs it looks like it's finished there. So that's nice and finished now. This is finished. We'll fin refinish that piece. So I'm just doing everything with this metal. It's free right now. Uh, in the tutorial, you get all the metal you can use for free. Um, later on in the game, you will not be able to do that, and you're going to have to um, buy the materials to finish up. The I th yeah, I think the me does the metal stay free? Okay, my wife is saying the metal stays free. So, But the reason why I told you to take a look is, like, from here... It's kind of hard to tell that that's not refinished up top. So make sure you check closely and look. It should be a nice, even gray like that. Um, if you get up to that other texture close, Lee, oops, you can see there's a, not, not like right here, you can definitely see the difference. Like you can see when you're standing close to it, you can see there's a difference between that and that. But you can't. So I just wanted to share that with you. I'm going to go ahead and continue working on the, uh, working on this, and I'll see you when I'm done. 
So we can have a little conversation while I'm working on this. Um, some of the things that were brought up when I was demoing this on the stream last night, uh, people were uh, asking, you know, hey, is this, you know, how is this versus Farming Simulator? Because um, obviously the big game out there right now is Farming Simulator uh, 19. Um, 17 is still pretty popular. 15 even. Um, this is a very different kind of game. Um, it is more about being a farmer than building a farm. Well, I guess that's not true. You are building a farm too, but you're... Farm Sim is an equipment grind. Um, at, at its heart, Farm Sim is about getting big fast and getting the biggest equipment and driving, you know, John Deere 9, 9XRs and, and you know, Colossus Zeros and, you know, like just trying to get to that big farm as fast as possible, unless you're playing Seasons. <laughs> this game is more about farm life. Uh, it would be almost like if you guys have watched me play My Summer Car. That's cool. Uh, there's a Moni's playing another game in it. There's a Chapman Street in there, which is, of course, our last name. Um, but, uh, you know, this game is more about f being a farmer and, you know, living the farmer life, getting married. Uh, almost like if you could take Farm Sim and plop Stardew Valley into it. That is kind of more of the idea. You're... You're meeting people. There's, you know, sadly though, the people don't have the personalities that they do in Stardew Valley. You know, Stardew Valley, the characters have a lot of personality. This game, they're just kind of, well, weird and robotic. <laughs> yeah. Nice weather, ain't it? <laughs> you guys will see that later on when the in the dialogue. <laughs> yeah, my guy has a very educated, like non, you know country boy accent you know he's like hey my name is arthur you know i'm a farmer and he's got no accent whatsoever but then he has you know they tried to mix in the colloquialisms and once once again you're dealing with uh dial dialogue that's coming from a, a german you know company a non or maybe polish i once again i can't remember but it's not important it's a non-english speaking um company so the colloquialisms are attempted, but they're lost in translation because somebody who is well educated and speaks well, even and even with a with a ain't it that doesn't mean you're not well educated. It it's just that colloquialism goes along with a with a southern accent. I mean, I don't know, I don't know. Once again, like I said, I don't that, that sounds wrong. I completely said that wrong. I didn't I didn't don't mean it to sound like uneducated because that's not the case. There's lots of people that are very well educated that say ain't. Or Ewan's, you know, that's a Pennsylvania colloquialism. But there's an accent that goes with it. It's not like, nice weather, ain't it? <laughs> it would be like, hey, y'all, nice weather, ain't it? I mean, that's <laughs> that's what I'm getting for. Larry the Cable Guy, right? So uh, they kind of missed that in this game. Um, and I wish they would have had it. You know, it would have been good to have, you know, if they're going to say colloquialisms like that, they should have had somebody, you know, that had a southern accent or a, a country accent come in and do the country accent instead of like, yeah, no, but I do agree. yeah it's just it's really bad. Nice weather, ain't it? <laughs> nice weather, ain't it? <laughs> uh, or the or, you know the people that did the readings should have said something like these voice actors. Why didn't they say something? So anyway, it's a little funky, but you know, back on topic. Uh, it's a very different game than Farm Sim. First of all, we have this uh, repair element where, you know, and once again, I don't know. I haven't played the game long enough to know if these things break back down again over time. I'm interested to see, you know, three years down the road, do we have to rebuild again? Like, does that mean that everything wears out and it needs to be redone? I don't know. Um, but maybe. Um, you definitely have a lot of things to fix, and you're going to be constantly repairing things for neighbors. Um, but I don't know, once again, if these randomly wear out. Uh, it seems like the developer has taken a very in-depth you know, look. If you look at the repair list that came out for version 1, like the bug fixes, there's like 500 bug fixes. I mean, these guys are paying super deep attention to detail. They want the game to be... Look, there we go. That's the tick I was talking about. We just made 3,000 social points for finishing this up. Now, in my eyes, it's not done because we haven't done these yet, but I'm going to rebuild these. But um, but the developer seems to really be um, doing this attention to detail thing 
they had a big list of things that they wanted to do. And to be honest with you, I feel like they've done a good job accomplishing them. You know, that's something that's to be, you know, to be proud of. They've got a product that started off a little bit clunky at first, but they've they've taken it and made it something really good. And, uh, I, you know, I'm, 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 I'm uh, very excited to see the direction that this game has gone and where it's going to continue going. Um, it, it, it's, uh, how do you say it? They've, 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 they've put the care and love into it that it, that it deserved, and they've made it into a really good, deep game. Somehow I missed those those roof pieces. I was I was up there. Hmm. All right, so I'm going to continue working on this, but those are kind of my two cents and maybe a little bit of a distinction between this game and Farm Sim. Why is it different? I'm not saying it's better. Um, I love Farm Sim. That's one of my. It's obviously Farm Sim is one of my favorite games, but this is a really good farming game, and it's it 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 does have a lot of repetitiveness to it. You can so be aware of that. Kind of like Gold Rush. Um, you're going to be doing fixing stuff quite – you're going to be holding down that B button, so make sure you get a good controller that's going to last because your B button's going to wear out if you don't because you're going to be constantly holding that button down to fix things up. Um, be aware of that. But, you know, it is it is a good game, and we will – oh, look at that. It even replaces the wood. Ooh, look at how nice that looks. Wow. Okay, so we will continue on. I'm going to I'm gonna walk around the farm here and keep working on these buildings. Um Get my farm back up to shape. I might pop in here and there, but uh, I will see you guys in just a minute. I don't want you to have to watch me doing the whole thing over again. Like I said, I've recorded this before on my channel. Uh, this part's kind of the same as what it was before, um, just you know, looking around for hidden pieces. Uh, that's one of the frustrating things I think you guys will find. You're going to constantly be fixing things and going, "Why? where's that last piece that's not fixed? And you'll find a little foundation corner down at the bottom, or you know, like this house especially has that. Um, there's a lot of foundation pieces on the house. That uh, wait, we're not gonna. I don't want to rebuild. Like here, make sure you when you do the house, check your see that foundation stuff. That whole thing needs to be re uh, done, and it's pretty much around the whole house. It's easy to miss spots of that. Um, so, all right. So I'll check in here and there as I work, and let you know what I'm working on, and and we'll kind of get quick glimpses. But I'll see you guys in a minute when I'm finished. I just had a thought. I remembered. I wanted to tell you guys something. If you are playing the game and you're uh, on the PC. And you're having trouble with the game going full screen. Uh, this is an issue that the game still has and has had for a long time. Uh, the simple fix is that you just have to go in and um, you need to enable... Um, you do an Alt-Tab, like you tab out of the game, pick something else, and then tab back into the game, and the game will go full screen. Um, uh, once again, you probably have to set your resolution. I know my game, when it launched the first time, it came out with the wrong resolution. It came up like... Um, I think it, it was like 3,000 by like 4,000. I'm like, that's not the resolution of my monitor. My mon my, I have a 1080p monitor, so my, my resolution and probably most people's resolution will be 1920 by 1080. But uh, it, came, it, uh, it defaulted to the wrong size. So make sure that you fix that first in the settings and then um, go into your settings and uh, adjust it or do an alt tab um, once you start the game. Like get into the game. And then you alt tab it to get it full screen. What was that? I lost a cigarette. Oh, you lost a cigarette. <laughs> Dag nabbit. Uh, and then the other thing too, just remember, this game does take a fairly beefy PC to run. Um, don't buy this game if you have a crappy PC. Like if you don't have, well, I'll just put it this way: if you're having trouble running Farm Sim 19, you're definitely going to have trouble running this game. It is pretty graphics intensive. Um, yeah, I think it. I agree with Moni. She said that she thinks it's more graphic intensive than Farm Sim, and I, I would agree with that. Um, it, it does require quite a decent. Even here, you can see I'm stuttering a little bit because I'm recording while I'm playing. Um, it's definitely a, a, a graphics hog, but it's gorgeous. Look around. I mean, look at the things I like. Like, I mean, Farm Sim doesn't look at the buildings. Now they're goofy, yeah, but look at how. Look at this. I can walk up right to the building. The textures stand up. You know what I mean? They really. The the game has really good textures. Um, somewhat goofy, but they've taken this engine and they've really pushed it and made it do what it can do, and it's it's good looking. I mean, they they've really done a great job. So, uh, but it does you know with that comes you know the um requirement for some hefty hardware. So, anyway, I'm gonna keep working. I'll be back. All right, so the sun is setting on my farm. One thing I wanted to show you guys before I uh, finish up, I've done a lot of work on these buildings. Most of them are showing complete already, uh, even though I haven't finished the doors. 
But I want to show you, there's a couple things that we're going to put metal on. Uh, since the metal is free, once again, I would do this. Um, you need to fix all your fences. So you go over to your um, thing and you pick up metal. And I've already done that. Um, and then I use the, on the computer, it's the F2 key. I'm not sure what you use on Xbox, but you pick the different repair mode. I think it's you go right here and you pick up rebuild. There you go. And so you can choose that. And then... Um, I just go on here and I rebuild the rusty metal, and you can see it's going to replace my fence. So I do the entire fence like this. Uh, the other thing that you can do is pretty cool, and I'm going to show you. There's a couple things we're going to work on uh, with this metal. I hope you guys can see. Like I said, I know it's getting dark. I'll move as fast as I can here before the sun goes down totally. Uh, but uh, you can also replace all of your drain pipes. I would do that because it looks much nicer to have clean drain, silver, silver drain pipes. And you can do all of your doors. So instead of having these crappy wooden doors, you can replace all the doors on all your buildings with metal doors for now. If you want to change the material later, great, but that looks much nicer than that, doesn't it? Even these are repaired. This still looks way better to have these nice new doors on here. So, And it's free, so you might as well do it. I mean, you might as well use that. You might have to keep going over. If you run out of metal and the tool stops working, you'll need to run over to that tray and pick up more metal. But you can do the whole farm like this and really get the thing pounded out and make it look nice. So I just wanted to share that with you. Um... So we got a couple more minutes left in this episode. Uh, I'll be back once I'm done putting the farm together, and we'll move on tomorrow morning, quote-unquote, in the game. And I will see you in just a minute. All right, you guys are going to hang out with me as we finish up the house. This house is pretty ugly. I'm not, you know, I mean, right now I don't have any money to buy materials to fix it up, aside from just the repair stuff. I'm looking in here for any repairs that need to be done. doesn't look like anything needs to be done in here. It is just, it's not the prettiest house. Um, you get, you know, like these crappy old wallpaper that's all ripped up, and we're patching holes in the wall and stuff, but we're not repainting. Plaster, man. It's definitely a European home. Oh, uh, hold on. All right, let's see here. Uh, we got that done. That room's finished. The hallway here is finished. I just realized my microphone was hanging down. I'm like talking to, talking, I'm talking to the air. Oh, look, we got a room for a baby and a kid or both. Or one who becomes another. <laughs> anyway. Uh, oh, yeah, our floor needs to be replaced. Now, they used to have this like really, when the game first came out, if you can go back and watch my original series, when I bought the beta year like two years ago before they had all, when they had all those problems with the lawsuit and the whatever it was playway or whatever suing everybody that had this kind of game uh, I think they sued they they lost but they sued farm expert they sued uh, farmers dynasty and they sued uh, farm manager all those games got taken off of steam I don't know if you guys remember that but two years ago when they first yeah Moni remembers when they first when they first quote unquote released this game. Um, that happened, and uh, this should all be fixed. All the door needs to be fixed, but here we go. So my room's all squared away. Uh, but anyway, that that uh, s <laughs> back when that happened, I had I had gotten the game first before that happened, so I was able to play it quite a bit while they were you know in early stages, and it's come such a long way. But this house used to be really hard. I mean, they had a lot of little things like. You know, the ceiling had problems, if I remember right. Uh, if I remember, like, you had to replace all this railing, had to be replaced. They had all kinds of railing up and down and that stuff that needed to be done. And then we, let's see, we're going to open this. Uh, and so we got uh, just this. Oh, I'm slipping around. Repair all that. And obviously this here. Fall through the ceiling. And there's our house. We've received 10,000 social points because... We've finished the entire farm. That's it. So we are done rebuilding the farm. In the next exciting episode, we will go over. We're going to get a a, a jack bear, a jack bear, a jack bear C um, tractor or John Deere tractor. That we're not allowed to say because it's copyrighted. Uh, farm sim 19 only material. But uh, they originally had a John Deere in this game. Actually, I think they always called it the jack bear. But it was green and yellow, and uh, John, they I think they just tried to avoid copyright problems, so they just ended up changing it to a red and yellow tractor. That says Jack Bear C, but 
you'll laugh at something that happens in the dialogue in the next episode because there's a little bit of a foible mistake surprise uh, in the language that happens during one of the dialogues that's not really supposed to happen. So here's our finished farm. It's empty right now. We need to add some animals. Definitely need to get some chickens in to start making income because chickens give you eggs every day. And you can cook those eggs and make them pretty, you know, two, $300 a day uh, profit. And that will allow us to start buying things for the farm. Um, we also have our crop that needs to come in. What they're going to do is they're going to put us through a series of missions like this one where we're going to go work for this dude. Uh, and uh, he's going to give us money for um, doing work around his farm. And uh, so, and not, he's not going to give us money. He's going to give us a tractor. Uh, there's a whole series of missions here that we're about to go through where they give us a harvester, a tractor, um, a trailer, like a tipper, a uh, baler. All these things are going to be coming up, and, and uh, they're going to give them to us. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm so glad that uh, this game has finally come out and gotten released as a full game. It is a wonderful game. It really is, you know, a lot of fun. Like I said, it's not... A direct competitor to farm sim if you're like, hey, which one's better? Which one should I get? If you have neither of them, I, I, I don't get either, right? I don't I don't know. I mean, get <laughs> FS17 on sale. Uh, but in all seriousness, um, which game would I pick? I would say I would probably personally pick farm sim over this game, but I would definitely not skip this game if I had the money to buy it. It is worth paying the money for because it is fun. It's just a unique weird quirky kind of silly fun farming game uh where once again the focus is not necessarily as much the farming as it is a day-to-day -day life as a farmer that's the that's the difference you're you're a farmer not uh necessarily just a farming thing so anyway have a great day be sure to subscribe thumbs up always help and we will see you next time on farm expert sorry <laughs> farmer's dynasty Oh, there's too many games. <laughs> there's just too many. And then, once again, this is also my mistake, too, and I should tell you this. Uh, Farm Expert 17 was one of my favorite farming games, even over Farm Sim, because it, it did some things that Farm 17 didn't do. Farm Sim 17 didn't do. Uh, but now uh, that game is defunct. And Farm Sim 19 incorporated a lot of the cool things that they did in Farmers uh, Farm Expert 17. So... Uh, it's kind of a defunct game at this point. But this game, Farmer's Dynasty, is based or built on the same engine that Farm Expert was built on. In fact, Farm Expert, even you know, in later stages of its development on 17, um, had a build, rebuild a farm type scenario. They used the same buildings, they used the same tractors. Everything's identical or similar to what it was in that game. So we're using that same engine again. Uh, great game. If you get a chance to check it out, usually it goes on sale for like a buck. Uh, doesn't run real well on most computers, but <laughs> you might as well give it a shot and see uh, how you like it. Uh, but once again, we, we've you know come a long way in this game, and they've definitely turned this into its own thing, and, and it's definitely worthwhile. So, uh, is this worth the thirty bucks? I don't know. Wait till it goes on sale and pick it up. But I would definitely say, yeah, it is worth getting, uh, just because it's different. It's very unique. So, have a great night. Uh, be sure to subscribe, thumbs up, voice up, and we'll see you next time on Farmers Dynasty episode two. Bye.